bring you some Nashville Improv! <laughs> from, you guessed it, Nashville, Tennessee. We do a lot of short form and musical improv, and so we're gonna be doing some of that for you guys today. So, to get us going, we're gonna tell you about how we like our lovers, because that's what we do in Nashville. We just talk about it to strangers. All right, we like to sing to it, because it is the music city. So to get us started, what is a occupation that you feel like needs more love? Accountant. Accountants. <laughs> accountants, accountants. <laughs> Oh, I like my lovers like I like my accountants. They know how to really push my buttons. Ooh, I like my lovers like I like my accountants. I can really account on them. <laughs> These people you can depend on. Like, what's another occupation that you can really depend on? A dentist. Dentist. That is a place of business. What is that place? Bank. A bank. They're in a bank. Bank is your inspiration, y'all. I just want to pick a seat. Sylvia, stay calm. We'll get this loan, okay? We'll get the loan, Sylvia, and we'll get the house, and we'll have a roof over our head. We've been trying for so long, they just won't give it to us. I don't know what else to do. What else can I change? Sex you. I don't know what else to do. What else can I change? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can change. You're you're perfect the way you are. I, it, it, it's me, I'm sure. I, I had to get a job and I found one. <laughs> Sexier. I had to get a job. I found one. <laughs> well, I know I took out about fifty thousand dollars in credit card books, but I, I've been paying them off. I've only got a little bit left. You've been doing good. I mean, we're down to 45,000. So, yes. Sexier number. <laughs> You've been doing good. We're 
down to 6900 <laughs> And I'm going to put that money down as soon as I finish my next project. It's going to be the best play you've ever seen. Uh, sexy. It's going to be the best play you've ever seen. Sexy. It's going to be the best play you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is more financially resolute than community theater. <laughs> I feel it's the most stable I've ever felt in my entire life. So you can do such a great job. I got, I got such faith in you. I want to be a part of it. I want, I want to be in your play. Sexy. Being your play. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got a spot for you. I, you could be the um, the male lead. Sexy. You could be the uh, <laughs> the male lead. Sexy. <laughs> those little infomercials, right, where like if you're up way too late watching TV and then they're like coming on to tell you about all these greatest hits from like the 70s or the 80s and it's like, oh, that's seen on TV type commercials and they're like, you can get this whole set for like two payments of $29.99. You remember those, right? Well, we've got some of those before you're going to do a little thing called greatest hits. So let's give it up for these um, two TV people. So lots of songs sung about lots of things. But we want to sell you songs about something, an object that just doesn't get enough songs sung about. It. So, what would you like to hear songs about? Some some object that just normally don't hear songs about. Dahlias. Dahlias. What? Dahlias. Like the flowers. flowers. Okay, dahlias. Yeah. Okay, dahlias. We'll be right back to our regularly scheduled programming of watching paint dry. But man, do we have something special for all of you? That's right. Uh, we know a lot of people are gardeners out there, and we have the perfect, the perfect set box for you, coming out with you on, on CD, a cassette tapes, and even eight tracks. That's right, all about dahlias. Dahlias. <laughs> and you know, you know, there is that one song that just really grinds my gears, but in the rock kind of way, if you know what I mean. It's that one, that one R&B song. It's it's called um, Dolly Us. <laughs> Dolly Us. <laughs> Wait. 
Like I told you before, that won't do any good. Fruit of the poisonous tree. Uh, so you feeling all high and mighty now. <laughs> you don't want to be in them to killing the bodies anymore. You are not penetrating anything. I was only trying to penetrate the dirt. <laughs> Where you was going? It's too dangerous, even for you. I ain't scared of this. I'm true to this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it might be worth all the paperwork if you die. So we're back to the threat zone. Huh? <laughs> no, I was being facetious. Uh, now get out of my office. <laughs> Man. All right, so play one more game for you guys. Now, um, there are things out there that um, really are like big problems, and we have to like try to come together to like solve. And throughout history, we've come together to like solve those problems and make things better. And we feel like improv gives us an opportunity to like really do those things, you know. But. That ain't what we're here for. <laughs> we're here to try to like fix like very small problems, things that might not even be problems at all, like very minute like inconveniences maybe. Um, like you know, we are the world that came together like for like AIDS, and you know, but we ain't coming together for that. We're coming together for something like super small, like hangnails or like potholes. Like what's something that's like a minor inconvenience that's like really like just like grinds your gears, bothers you a little bit, maybe frustrates you. I don't know. Slow drivers. Oh Slow drivers, man. Hey, that'd be tripping. Slow drivers. On my way to work, I've got to go a long way, and I'm stuck behind this person, in this lane I have to stay. I don't understand road rage, but I'm starting to get it. Move over, Karen, or I'll knock you. <laughs> Keep it. 
Jim. Panda! Kelly! And give it up for the amazing...